<laughs> For these young men, the journey to this stage has been long. The family I've come from, we have not really had much success in the field of um, education. They're the gents of the Chauncey Glover Project. It's a hands-on mentoring organization that grooms inner city minority boys into upstanding gentlemen. The program teaches uh, the students all kinds of skills in dressing for success. We do college preparedness. I am confident, I am special, I am faithful and powerful. I started the program five years ago after watching a young man die on the streets of Detroit. Now here in Houston, so I need to make sure your ties and stuff is straight. We're working with our second class of students now mentoring more than 40 young men from across Houston. These young men have done a great job in the community, um, showing up every Saturday, ready to work. No matter the circumstances, they're showing up with positive attitudes and try to better themselves, which I'm absolutely proud of. Well, I actually have two sons, Jerry and Julian Ledoux. Uh, this is their first year with the program. We have been very privileged to work with such a great organization. Chauncey actually happens to be one of my son's mentors. And when I say hands on, this program has been nothing less than hands on. On this night, the gents are getting fitted for tuxedos. Just put your arms up for me. They're preparing to take the stage for a big black tie gala show. It gives me a chance to show off my creativity. The show is titled, There Is A King In Me, and it's all about them, their stories. There's been tough times in life when I went into giving. Mom's schizophrenic and jobless, so father had to make a way. Stories of struggles and trials, like little Karan Hawkins, whose father was murdered. I want to either be a police officer or or maybe a marine biologist. Quentin Haynes' story just breaks your heart. Now close your eyes and imagine being a young boy walking through traffic, staying in the park even after it was dark. Quentin was homeless, dad in jail, but he's defying the odds and breaking the cycle. Six months ago, I didn't even think I was gonna be able to go to college, but now thanks to the program and thanks to everybody pushing me and making me a better person, I've now being accepted into not only one, but three colleges that I apply to. All of these young men have different stories. If it wasn't for them, I would have not gotten admitted to my dream college, which, uh, which was Texas A&M. Different challenges. All right, grab the bottom. But they're all. I promise to make you all proud. Overcomers.